everyone. It's Friday the 22nd of April, which is the nearing the end of week two of my DTS. Um, I have so much to fill you guys in on. I love everyone here. I just feel I'm like on the verge of tears right now. I feel so blessed by all of my um, classmates and all of my staff. They're all amazing. I can't even comprehend how God would have chosen each and every one of them specifically because everyone brings something different to the table and it's so necessary for the group that we have it's amazing even up to my roommates there was a couple things i was really worried about um coming into dts and my roommates have just wiped those clean um, no worries at all in those areas and i'm so 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 grateful for them um hopefully you guys will get to meet them um, actually, one of my roommates is in quarantine. She gets out today. Um, one of a couple of our students had COVID towards the beginning of the week, um, so they've been quarantining pretty much all week. But we've been praying, and they get out today, and we miss them so much. Um, yeah, I just am, I just feel so honored to be on this school. It's an amazing. And the process that we're going through is amazing and it's so different than the last UTS I did. Um, not only because the school is completely different, the students are completely different, but I'm completely different. I This was four years ago when I did my last UTS. I've, I'm a completely different person. Um, so I get to look at all of the lessons from a completely different lens and it's just amazing. Um, I've, I've gotten to see how I've been able to change because I can actually uh, put up boundaries now. Before I wasn't able to, I didn't even really want to, but this time I do because I want to honor my relationship and my time here with God. Um, and I want to honor my friendships that I have here too because I have a lot of amazing friendships. Um, a lot of really amazing friendships with guys, which is an area that I um, am seeking healing. Um, yeah, it's, I just, I'm very hopeful for the next couple months, and I'm literally, I'm gonna cry, because I just love them all so much, um, they're all so loving and supportive, and it's amazing, and God's been working, like, over time with all of us, um, myself included, um, a couple things that happened, I, for the first week, I didn't feel very connected emotionally. Um, I didn't know why, but, um, yeah, I just, I prayed one morning. I'm like, God, why are you, why are you not allowing me to feel these things? Why am I not in it? the way that I have been in the past. And he said, you've been through so much. If I let you feel everything all at once, it'd be too much for you. And I said, okay. Um, and he said, we'll go through it, but one at a time and I'll help you through. And I said, okay. So later on in the day, we were at um, Ohana Court and um, we're at Ohana Court, which is at the upper campus. It's really awesome. It's a lot of worship, a lot of um, praise and intercession and prayer, and it's awesome. So we were at Ohana Court, and um, I was sitting there worshiping, and I'm like, God, can you just tell me one thing about the accident? Just one thing. Like, is, is she there with you? Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I was in a pretty severe... I was in two car accidents last year, one of which um, resulted in the person I collided with, her death. Um, it was not my fault. Um, she ran a red light, but it's still a process. It's still very hard. Um, so during worship, I was just asking him. I was like, Lord, can you just reveal something about the accident? Just give me some form of comfort so I can start to deal with this. Um, and I kind of pushed it aside um, because I didn't. I felt like I was kind of pushing God. Um, and then a not even a minute later, 
my roommate Anna is from Germany. She's amazing. I love her. She came up with a word for me from the Lord. And he told her to tell me that he, sorry, it's really early right here. I'm really emotional. <laughs> he told her to tell me that he chose life for me in that accident. Um, and I just broke. I hadn't cried really all week since I've been here, which is rare for YWAM because it's such a an engaging and emotional time with the Lord and with people. And it's a time of breakthrough and I hadn't cried yet. And it was hard for me because I'm a very emotional person and I didn't like that I wasn't able to bear my emotions. So I just broke in that moment and I started weeping and um, thanking the Lord and wrestling with what that meant for the next couple minutes. And then um, when I finally was like, okay, Lord, what does that mean? Like, what do you, what do you want from me in this moment? He said, I want you to live for me this time, not like last time. I want you to live sold out for me. And he said, okay. Um, worship goes on. It's awesome. Uh, about a minute after that conversation with God, I start getting really giddy. <laughs> it was really weird. It kind of came out of nowhere. I was very, very happy and I was dancing. I don't like dancing. I'm not good at dancing. I was dancing. I was jumping. I was just full, like overwhelmed with joy. And that's what it was. The Lord was giving me joy because a minute later, the worship leader was like, saying I feel the Lord putting joy in this area and there's joy here um yes Lord more Lord and I'm like yeah that's me God's putting joy in me because he loves me and he sees me and he wants to help me through this and he's giving me joy and it's amazing and it's the best feeling it was the best feeling I was like screaming and not I wasn't screaming but I was like I don't even know what I was doing. I was, I looked like a crazy person. All my friends around me were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, no, don't worry. It's God. It's great. And so, um, we go into this time where God or not God. <laughs> well, yeah, but the worship leader was like, um, okay. I feel like we, we need to start letting go of some stuff we've been holding on to for a while. Plans desires, what have you. So I was like, okay, God, I can do that. Since I'm living sold out for you now, I can do that. But the only thing I can think of giving up right now is whether I'm going to be married one day and have children. But I was so stoked from, oh, it's so early. Um, I was so stoked from what had just happened that I was ready to give it up. God had prepared me to do to do some healing before he asked me to give something up. Um, and so I was like, take it. I don't need to be married. I just need to be with you. Um, take it. It's yours. And um, and it was amazing. And then I was filled with more joy. And yeah, it was just awesome. I feel so much more, I feel freer. Even yesterday, my roommate, um, Anna, looked at me. She said, you look different. <laughs> you look like there's life in you now. You didn't look that way when you got here. And I'm like, I know. It's because there is. It's because I, I feel joy for the Lord again. And yeah, now I get to commune with him every day. Oh, my goodness. I get to commune with him every day. I get to talk and sing with him. And I get to spend life right now with these amazing people. Some of my best friends here are um, Anna and Alyssa, my roommates. And then my two of my guy best friends here are Sam and Zach. Um, they're awesome. I also um, felt a couple days ago that... Um, so I was holding on to some stuff back home and um, 
I didn't know what I was supposed to do after DTS. Um, I was gonna go home and then one day come back and do a secondary school or work in missions. But I was being held back to buy some stuff. Um, and after that conversation about God giving me life and wanting me to live for him, and my conviction in that, knowing that it was true and knowing that I, that's what I needed to do and that's what I've been called to for the past four years. Um, and I've been ignoring it and running away from it. Um, I felt from God to let those things go and to do secondary school in September. Um, I currently don't have enough money to go straight into secondary school um, hopefully I can fundraise. My secondary school is 35, um, 100 for tuition. I wouldn't have to, I might fly home. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to do some budgeting to see where I'm going to be at. I have enough to pay for the rest of my DTS. I've had enough. Um, God blessed me so much during the last year with, uh, financial support via jobs. Um, yeah, it's, it's just been an amazing journey. And yeah, so I guess all that to say, um, I'm going to be starting to talk about um, fundraising in the next couple updates, um, just so that I can get the ball rolling in that direction. The school is the School of Navigation and Seamanship. It is a um, discipleship um, that's focused on sailing and life on the water, which is what I feel called to. I feel called to the Pacific Islands. I love the Pacific Islands. I love the people of the Pacific Islands, and there's such a need there um, for people who are willing to stay and love on them. And um, I feel specifically called to the women. Sexual abuse is huge in the Pacific Islands, and um, there's not a whole lot there to help with the healing process, like the emotional and spiritual healing process after a sexual assault has happened. So um, that's my calling. I don't know if I've ever told anybody on he on this platform that, but yeah, that's my calling. And I am so excited to start taking steps towards that. Right now I'm in a something called a track, which is like a focus. It's not that much of a focus. We only do like two hours a week, but it's called flotilla. The word flotilla means a fleet of small vessels. And we're going to be doing the same stuff I would be doing on nav school, but it's going to be a little less. It's going to be a lot less because it's only two hours a week. But yeah, we're going to be focusing on sailing and safety on boats and all of that stuff. So I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I'll be coming out with more information on what my fundraising needs are. Um, and yeah, and send any prayer requests you guys have. I'll, I'll post them in my update um, on the email. And thank you guys so much for supporting me and following me on my journey. Love you guys.